So today I'm still molting. I have the brown squirrel on today and wig weather uh, forecast looks pretty good. A little rainy, but uh, benefits of wearing a wig, it's um, pretty rain resistant. Still looks good. So one of the things uh, wearing a wig that I have noticed uh, or my own hair is that I have tons of opportunities um, to meet new people. Um, a lot of times by this wig, I've received more compliments on my hair. And I said, thanks, it's a wig, and then it lends itself to a conversation, um, you know, that I think people didn't expect to have. Um, but it's always interesting to see people's, um, you know, reaction to, you know, yes, it's a wig, I have cancer. So um, what I've noticed that it's been a great opportunity to meet new people also. So um, at the gym is probably a good example of the, having no hair and then, or having hair and then no hair. Um, so I wear my newly owned hair with a cap a lot to the gym. And then of course, when I get to class, um, it's not unusual for me just to take it off. Um, with that comes a shock value of, oh my gosh, he had hair and then no hair. And so the other day at the gym, um, I had literally a circle of five people that I was able to give a demonstration on my hair and then the cap in it. So people seem to be very intrigued um, by that. And I've met a lot of new people that way, um, which has been great, you know, and even at the grocery store, I was at Walmart and I had um, dog food for Lily on the bottom of the car and I leaned up and literally knock my wig sideways. And I turn around and there's a young guy standing behind me and he's kind of got this shock looked on his face and so I wish I could have one of those hidden cameras that every time something like this happens <clears throat> that you guys could actually see the reaction on people's face when I turn around and the wig is like sideways and he's looking at me and you can tell that, you know, cancer is not on his radar. He is thinking transvestite, what is this girl, an actual a dude or what? So um, when I said, I, it, it's a wig, it's okay, I have cancer, um, you know, it's always interesting to, <clears throat> because whatever point of reference um, to cancer that somebody has, uh, that usually is the look on their face. So whether it's somebody recently that they know who is going through a terrible time with cancer, you know, there's this huge look of pity on their face and their, their face changes immediately. And so people who have cancer, I know that you know exactly what I'm talking about. This comes up in conversation, uh, whether you like it or not, you know, it's part of everyday life when you take the cap off or the wig off and then all of a sudden you have no hair. So no hair certainly brings an opportunity to have um, a conversation, excuse me, about cancer. But what I've also noticed is that if you're confident and you're positive in your outlook, then whatever reaction that people have, they tend to turn it around by the end of the conversation and they're always smiling um, afterwards. So I feel like, again, it's just another moment of impact or influence that I get to have every day simply because I don't have hair underneath here. And it just is part of everyday life. I mean, sooner or later, um, you know, there's opportunities that come up where this comes off and then there's no hair and there's the shock value and then there's the conversation. So um, anyway, so that is something I just simply wanted to share today. <clears throat> and again, you know, one of the biggest things is that we're all influencing people in some way or another with our attitudes to no matter whatever it is. So, you know, just encouraging everybody today just to think about, you know, your reaction to whatever situation that you're in and how you can uh, control yourself um, and change that mood. Uh, so anyway, that's the challenge of the day. So whatever you're doing, happy Friday to everybody out there. And again, um, thanks for all of your support, your comments, um, and for watching. So have a great day and a good weekend.